Good morning from the National Weather Service here in Norman. My name is Bruce. I'd like to wish you a happy Thanksgiving. This will be a quick weather update on uh, changing weather conditions across our area. Uh, first of all, the main impacts uh, from today through Saturday will be flooding from heavy rainfall and that potential will last through Saturday and then we have cold temperatures uh, that are sliding into northern parts of the state currently and that will bring a risk of freezing rain to parts of the area. And then the main question now is, is how far south and east will the freezing temperatures and the potential for freezing rain make it? Here's a recent uh, uh, temperature map from the Mesonet. It kind of shows where the colder air, how far it's advanced. Uh, kind of approaching near Enid down into the Clinton area, but that's going to move uh, slowly to the south and east today. And here's kind of a graphic kind of indicating um, uh, when the colder air will arrive, at least the initial cold air. And by 6 p.m. or so, it looks like the leading edge of the colder air will be approaching the Stillwater, kind of Oklahoma City area, Hobart, and down to Altus. And then from midnight to 6 a.m., um, somewhere between Ada, Ardmore, and Wichita Falls. Directly behind the cold front, the freezing temperatures will lag, however. We'll look at that right now. Here's kind of a, a graphic that shows when we expect the temperatures to fall below freezing and the potential for freezing rain to start. Right now, far northwest Oklahoma looks like somewhere between 9 p.m. and midnight. From midnight to 3 a.m., roughly Enid down into the Clinton area. Uh, 3 a.m. to 6 a.m., maybe Ponca City, El Reno, uh, near the Altus, and uh, parts of western north Texas. And then as we get into Friday, um, there's a little uncertainty how far the uh, freezing temperatures will make it, but perhaps Stillwater, Oklahoma City, Lawton, uh, we'll see the uh, temperatures fall below freezing with the uh, potential for freezing rain. And again, this area just highlighted here in red, you know, it's potentially the uh, freezing temperatures can make it that far south and we may need to uh, adjust, um, you know, how far south the potential for ice accumulations are. And here's um, how much ice may accumulate, mainly on uh, power lines and trees. The uh, purple area right now looks like has the greatest potential kind of just southeast of Woodward near Enid, Clinton and Altus where up to half an inch is possible and then a quarter inch in the uh, purple shading and again the area there in the white we have a light glazing if the temperatures can get below freezing for a little bit further south and east uh, maybe higher um, ice totals can uh, occur in that area. And the other uh, issue, as we mentioned earlier, uh, is the heavy rainfall. And right now it looks like uh, areas from Ada over to Ardmore and just to the east of Wichita Falls has the best potential for having uh, maybe as much as six to eight inches of rain, which will certainly result in it, you know, rises on creeks and streams, perhaps some flash flooding and some river flooding. And this is uh, to highlight the current watches, warnings, and advisories we had out. Again, in the kind of the purple shading is where we expect the biggest impact from winter weather and the cold temperatures. And the green, the flash flood watch, where the better chance of flooding uh, may occur. Kind of pause in this here, but you know, that road conditions, especially across parts of west, central, northwest. Uh, may have some icing problems there from some freezing rain, perhaps some sleet. Uh, there's a couple of phone numbers here and then also you can see on the off to the left Colorado and Kansas uh, they're also gonna have some winter weather so you can write these numbers down and, and call to see what road conditions are like. Uh, that concludes today's weather briefing. Hope this uh, helps you plan for uh, travel during this holiday weekend.